Everyone needs to know what happened to the people during the Holocaust, but more importantly, how it happened. If we teach people how it happened step by step, it will show that the Jews didn't just go straight to the gas chambers, but that it all started with hateful words and then escalated to the horrors of the gas chambers. Mother used to say, hate, don't hate anybody because it's a sickness. And I remembered that for ever. Members. Step one, bias. Intensive remarks, stereotyping, belittling jokes. My name is Rose Gelbart, a maiden name Ruja Grossman. I was born in Leszno, Poland. Um, the town was close to Poznań. And uh, shortly after, we moved to Kalish. Blonde and beautiful, and they all kind of catered to her. Step two, individual acts of prejudice. Dehumanization, slurs, bullying. Bido Shido, stinky Jews, or she said the Palestini, she said the Madagascar. It may, it may spats like that. Or they would say, Ishli she said, na pony was a jeden się stracił, I hope pass na vracil. And that means Jews went on a, on a, on a wagon. And one got lost, and the, and the dog brought him back. Three, discrimination. Jewelry from us, all the belongings that we had, they took away from us. And, and then they uh, uh, came in order to, they're going to evacuate the ghetto. So they put us uh, again. We, they walked us to a train station, they beat us and they hit us over the head with sticks and, and the horse, driven, uh, they were on the horses and they called us Bido Shido and the stinky Jews and just, just um, very mean atrocities. And they, they hit everybody wherever they could and get, get to them. So they, they pushed us, uh, they, pushed us into a, uh, trains. Uh. People kind of like smelled a Jewish person or a Jewish child. Step four, bias motivated violence, terrorism, assault, murder. Aufmachen. My uncle opened up the door and there were, I remember, three huge rifles. To me, they were like maybe six foot. And they were pointing it at us and shouting, 15 to 20 minute rouse, get out of here. And only carry what you can. So of course, you know, Orthodox people, they probably took their, their candlesticks and whatever they could carry, they were elderly and appear at the square where, where uh, uh, they gathered all the Jews. The first day they marched in and put them in where the horse, they were like a marketplace in the city and they locked them up in barns and they were horse barns. And so without food, after three days we were sitting there Step five, genocide. The act or intent to deliberately and systematically annihilate an entire people. It's to be the most educated, the most advanced people on earth to figure out how to kill people. What, what kind of crime have they done? Little babies, mothers, and 
it's just, it's just no logic for it. The human beings could do this to other human beings. I'm talking about the worst thing, I don't bring out bad things, but the, uh, what I saw in my ca camp alone, like the hanging of the two brothers that, because they ran away, or they, a, a boy picked up a potato and they brought in potatoes, a raw potato, and the assess saw him take it. He shoved it in his mouth he was, until he was choking. Then they took him into a, a place, a shower, with, with a shelf, with a hose, and they, they was, were uh, uh, spraying with cold and hot water. And you can see how, you know, how severe punishment they were doing to them. Or they were beating up, a, a guy was going out, a piece of grass, he got 25 lashes, he, he couldn't even get up. Uh, this is kind of a stuff that I saw. What I heard is, is unbelievable stuff, like like some assess were playing around, and they threw up babies in the air and catching them on, on the bayonet, babies. Uh, and, and you cannot imagine, I don't even want to talk about it, how severe, when, when the people were gassed in the gas chambers, if they weren't dead, they, they had a, a shovel in, or something like that to hit them, to, to, to finish him off, and this is the most, I can because that's really too close to, my family went through this, the same thing. In a way, I'm, I feel sad that the, our children have to carry this burden of knowing of, of pain. And a lot of them feel the pain of their grandparents, aunts and uncles. But I feel now, in our time, what's going on in the world with anti-Semitism, that we need, that the children do need to somehow continue with sending a message to the world that it should never happen again and that we won't let us it happen again because we are strong, we have an Israel and we are not the orphans like we were we we're we're, we're lived in Europe and nobody really loved us. Now we have a voice and I think that the children uh, and grandchildren need to continue their voice to make sure that Israel is there for us, that it will never happen again. And uh, I speak to schools in Shari Tikva and my husband does too. And uh, you kids will remember it and, and be visual with what's going around you because one bad person can influence millions. And those are the ones we have to be careful not to, not to uh, say, oh, he's just a dummy or the, he's not a dummy. Hitler was a dummy? He was no dummy. He's, he influenced all the Germans which were educated, most sophisticated people on earth. So uh, we have to watch out for that. It is our responsibility to ensure that these series of terrors that happened in the Holocaust will never happen again. The only way to ensure that it will never happen again is to be careful about our actions and our words. We need to treat others with respect and make sure they do the same back. Individually, we need to think about what we are saying before we say it in order to ensure our biased words don't turn into genocide. As a community, we need to educate people about what happened during the Holocaust and how it happened. 
It is our responsibility as members of the Jewish community to ensure that we do not judge groups of people or make stereotypes. The Holocaust started because of the concept of us and them. We need to make sure that no one separates anyone as us and them. It all starts from one word. We need to realize how these horrific things start, and we can be the ones to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. Education is key to make sure nothing of this measure will happen again. The stories of what happened during the Holocaust are very important and they need to be passed down from generation to generation. We are the ones who can change history and it is our responsibility to ensure that nothing like this happens again.